This video is going to be about a couple irregular verbs. It's going to be about voir, voir, devoir, and recevoir. They all sound very similar. Some are spelled similar, so that's why uh, they're all going to go in this same video together. So let's start with the verb voir. Voir has a particular uh, big mention here in uh, our unit 7 because it means to drink. It is conjugated like this. Je bois, tu bois, il, elle, and on bois, nous buvons, vous buvez, il and elle boivent. Okay, remember that you get this V sound in here. You don't make the, the ENT sounding on the end. The ENT makes it so that you make this V sound into boive. The verb boire. Boire means to see. Je vois, tu vois, il, elle, et on voit, nous voyons, vous voyez, il, et elle, voit. Again, you don't have the ENT sound on the end because we all remember that in French, uh, the ENT soundings are hardly ever made, uh, if ever, and that's just the way it is. Our other two verbs for this video are devoir and recevoir. Now, devoir means to have to or to owe, depending on the context of the situation that you're using it in. Uh, most people use it in uh, the context of to, uh, to have to. <clears throat> and it's conjugated like this. Je dois, tu dois, il, elle, and on doit, nous devons, vous devez, il and elle doivent. Again, you have that V sound here that you're making instead of the ENT sound. That ENT makes it so that you need that, you make that V sound, the doivent. The last verb is recevoir. It means to receive. It looks similar to the word in English, so it, it's really easy to figure out what it is. It's conjugated like this. Je reçois, tu reçois, il, elle, and on reçoit, nous recevons, vous recevez, il and elle reçoivent. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the, uh, because of the reflection that's here, but it's R-E-C with the C-D, O-I-V-E-N-T. Um, now, if you notice in this case, in recevoir, you have the C-D under the C. It's very important that you have it on these verb conjugations because that turns the, C, the hard C sound, the K, into a S. So it's reçoit and reçoive. Here, you don't need it because it's followed by, the C is followed by an E. So that naturally makes it into a, a, an S sound. But it, with the O following the C, it doesn't naturally make that S sound. So that's why you need that CD in here. It's very important. If that CD is not in there, then it's not uh, conjugated correctly. It's not spelled correctly. Because uh, the pronunciation won't be correct. So that's how you uh, conjugate those verbs, boire, voir, devoir, and recevoir. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me before, during, or after class. You're also welcome to email me or make comments about the video and uh, ask me questions that way, and I will try to respond as quickly as I can. And I will see you in class.